Sigma W can be used as a virtual laboratory to simulate a triaxial test. We have set up a series of triaxial test examples that ship with the software. One of them is elastic plastic triaxial test. Another one is the modified cayenne clay. And in each one of these files, there's a variety of tests, an undrained test, a consolidated undrained, consolidated with pore pressure measurement, loading, and extension. So for those of you who have not had the privilege of working in a lab and actually doing physical triaxial testing, uh, this can be highly educational. It can help you learn about soil properties and a soil behavior. I'm just going to briefly illustrate the types of things you can do and how we can spot check the results with hand calculations which aids in understanding soil behavior. So we're going to tr do a triaxial test simulation, assuming the soil behaves in an elastic plastic manner. The friction angle is 30 degrees, but C uh, cohesion is zero. We're going to consolidate the sample to an initial confining stress of 100 kPa, and then there is zero excess pore pressure at the start in the sample. It is zero pressure. And then we are going to do a consolidated undrained test with pore pressure measurements. Now in a elastic plastic model, the mean effective stress is a constant during an undrained test. And in order to do a, an interpretation of uh, these tests, uh, it's useful to understand this relationship here where this is the slope of the critical state line. And if phi is 30 degrees, then M, the Greek letter M mu, is equal to 1.2. So on a Q P prime plot, the slope here is 1.2 when phi is equal to 30 degrees. Let's open up the file then SIG20 in GeoStudio. And at the desktop level of this file, you can see there are a wide range of tests that have been simulated here. One is totally undrained. Um, another one is with confining stress where we only have cohesion and then purely frictional, friction with some cohesion, coupled purely undrained, coupled drained, and so forth. We're just going to look briefly at the one case, number four, coupled undrained. We have an essence applied a confining stress. Notice that our initial stress, it comes from the parent, and the parent is an analysis that was done to establish a state of stress in the sample of 100 kPa. So this is like consolidating the sample to a confining stress of 100 kPa. So that is our starting stress, and the initial stress comes from the parent, and we will have no starting poor water pressure conditions like I've already mentioned. We are applying a specified displacement, so this is like a strain control test, the way we would do in a laboratory, just compressing the sample at a particular rate and watching the response of the sample. Going to the results view then, under draw graph, first of all, the effective stress path. As I've already noted, the mean effective stress in an elastic plastic model remains a constant. Notice that the test ends at 120. 
we said that the critical state line had a slope had a slope of 1.2 which then makes sense that at the critical state line we have 120 divided by 100 making the slope here 1.2 to 1. So we know that the deviatoric stress at failure is 120 kPa. We know from triaxial test behavior that the total stress path during the loading follows a path that is at 3 vertical to 1 horizontal. This distance being 120, 120 divided by 3 makes it 40, and 40 is this distance here. And this is the pore pressure. This is the effective stress. Here's the critical state line. So this is U, the change in the pore pressure during the loading, and it should be 40 kPa. And so if we plot the pore pressure during the loading, we see, in fact, that the pore pressure levels off at 40 kPa. It is the maximum pore pressure. Now we know that we consolidated the sample to 100 kPa at zero pore pressure. So the vertical stress and horizontal stress were the same. At the uh, initial confining stress, we know from the previous discussion that the deviatoric stress is equal to 120 kPa. Therefore, sigma vertical total must be equal to 100 plus 120 is equal to 220. And indeed, that's what the test shows. We're getting a total vertical stress in our triaxial sample of, a hun of 220. We know that the sigma y total is 220, u is equal to 40 kPa, therefore sigma y or sigma 1 actually equals sigma 1 is equal to 220 minus 40 is equal to 180 kPa. And indeed, the triaxial test shows that it is 180 kPa. So now we know sigma 1 prime. Sigma 1 prime is equal to a 180 kPa. And we know the deviatoric stress. Therefore, sigma 3 prime prime must be equal to 180 minus 120 is equal to 60 kPa. We can quickly make a plot of effective stress versus the X stress and we see now that the Effective stress, we had a confining stress of 100 kPa minus 40 gives us a sigma uh, 3 of 60. So now we know that sigma 1 is equal to 180 and sigma 3 prime, sigma 1 prime, is equal to 60. So once again, sigma 1 pr prime is equal to 180. Sigma 3 prime is equal to 60. 
and we know that at failure in a shear stress versus normal stress plot that we have our more coulomb 30 degrees equal 30 degrees then if we start out at sigma 3 prime of 60 and draw a more circle that touches the more coulomb failure envelope we land up here at 180 we know from other relationships that have been developed that at failure the ratio of sigma 1 prime to sigma 3 prime is equal to 1 plus sine phi divided by 1 minus sine phi and the sine of 30 is a half so it's 1.5 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 3. Therefore, sigma 1 is equal to sigma 3 prime times 3 is equal to 60 times 3 is equal to 180 kPa. So this is a brief example of what you can do with simulating triaxial test. And if you can uh, spot check the triaxial test results with hand calculation, it is an, a demonstration that you understand the uh, procedure of doing a triaxial test and that you understand the relationship between shear strength and normal stress and pore water pressure and helps you understand soil behavior. I won't go into it here, but we have another set of examples that we ship with the Sigma W software for modified cam clay. And it is also very instructional to go through the modified cam clay triaxial test and cross check it ha with hand calculations and it helps you understand the modified cam clay model. So I leave the remaining of the triaxial test with you. Uh, all of these are described in a document that we ship with the Sigma W software. And if you're interested in the details and in the documentation, I refer you once again to the detailed examples that we ship with the Sigma W software. I will leave the triaxial test simulation at this stage. It should have given you an idea of what it is possible to do by simulating triaxial test with, a, with Sigma W, either drained or undrained, coupled, and whatever, so you can simulate all sorts of triaxial test scenarios using Sigma W.